All right, so I'm at the Atom now, and I'm running a program that I wrote. It's a quick and dirty program in BASIC that just gives a little textual version of the controller on the screen, just to let you test all the controller buttons. Now I'm going to plug this in, and I'm going to be reaching across the screen, so sorry about that. You know what? I'm going to go around here and plug this in. This is the one from part one that I doubted if it was going to work. I thought I fixed it. I think the keypad was bad. So let's just see. I'm going to do a run test on this one. Up, down. See how it's changing color? Right. Nothing on the left. The left is not working at all. Fire. Arm. Nothing on the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, zero, and start. So this one. Uh, sorry about being in front of this one has left fire button and keypad. Had to reach over to get the tape. So I'm just going to remark this one again. This is the one that I was questioning if it was going to work from the first one. So this one's going to take more work. So this one this left button, keypad. That's further work. This may be a parts machine, a parts one. Now the next one is number one. Up, down, right, left, fire, arm, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, star, zero, pound. Works fine. Again, this program is written in basic. I'm going to stop reaching in front of here. This program was written in basic, so it's not super fast. So sometimes I have to hold a button to get its attention. But it's just a quick and dirty thing I wrote. So here's number two now. Up, down, right, left, fire, oh, arm. One, two, three. We're looking good on all these so far. I can never get over the creaking and the groaning that the Clico vision controller makes. It's just, it's, I don't know. It just feels weird. It sounds weird. Now the last atom controller. Up, down, right, left, fire, arm. Now these controllers here, I bought them, the four Atom controllers and two of the ColecoVision controllers. I bought them on eBay as a lot of ColecoVision slash Atom controllers on working. I think I paid $30 for all six of them. Took my chance. And as you can see, so far, out of the Atom controllers, only one of them requires additional work. Now we're going to get into the ColecoVision controllers. Let's see what we got going with these. Now I intentionally got rid of my original writing that in my little notes, I mean, I didn't keep my notes with the controller. So I don't know what was wrong with it originally. So I had to do a full test again. We're going to test this one. This is the one that's missing the thing. Up. Down. See, it's there. It's just my program doesn't always register it so I have to play with it. And sometimes I don't know if it's a bug in the Smart Basic or if it's the hardware, but sometimes if you plug in the controller, basic locks up. I've actually had to erase my disk once when I plugged in the controller. Explain that one Coleco. That's, that's, that's worse than the, the electromagnetic pulse from the printer from the Atom. It erases the disk. The disk, the disk, as in not like electromagnetic disk, as in it erased what was on the ADE. How's that happen? 
So here's the next one. So far, we're doing really well. That one passed. Next one. Now this one, I don't know if you can see, it looks like somebody sanded the end off on this one. I don't know what causes that, but it looked like somebody sanded the end off a little bit. I wonder if this came with this other one where the wires were stretched out. Yeah, this has the torn number one, even though it does work. So this is works but ugly. They don't all have to be pretty, I guess. This is your second controller. This is one you give to the people that you're playing games against. Let them be handicapped with the ugly one that has a, has a broken key or torn key. Alright, next one. That one's good. And one more. This is the one that I actually put the new disc on to. Not that that makes any difference, but I recognize this disc as being the one that I had to make the disc for. Which actually came out pretty nice in the end. Up, down, right, left, button, button. So it appears that out of the 10 controllers, yeah, this one has the, the tear on the number 4. The 4 works, but it needs a replacement. So it appears out of the 10 controllers, oh, that see that? The, the star isn't working there. Is that because of the 4? Because the 4 is on the same... Oh, so this keypad has got a bad keypad. So, the, so we're just going to have to replace the keypad stars bad. It's not a wiring issue. That's not wiring because if you if you want to know how these wire up, these are all on the same wire and then these are all on the same wire. So if I press the star, I'm shorting the wire that comes from here and there back to the system. So star's not working, which means it's broken itself because this one works and this one. So we know this wire, this path, this field, this trace, whatever you call it, is working and since one and four and seven are working we know this trace is working so it's actually this button this contact itself is bad in some way now you can take these apart if you take a hair dryer and you heat these up you can strip them apart and get in there closer but I don't know if it's going to work so I'm just going to mark this one as new keypad And that's the one that I did the nice sanding on too. Alright, so out of the 10 that I got, that I just did, 8 are good, 2 need additional work. This one just needs a new keypad swapped on it, which I may have an extra one. And this one, the left button's not working in the keypad, so this one, I'm thinking may be a wiring issue. So we're going to get deeper into that. Have a great day!